Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this channel is dedicated to learning, teaching and discussing everything about cybersecurity. So today I'm giving my first impressions of the CCD, which is the Certified Cyber Defender certification by none other than Cyber Defenders. And this is a company that's been around since 2020. They offer uh, very quality uh, training and lab material on their platform. And uh, it's really awesome to see them put dip their toes into the certification space. I'm really excited. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Cyber Defenders for sponsoring this video. These are my unbiased opinions. But uh, Cyber Defenders reached out to me so I could help you guys by offering a 10% discount using the coupon code that is located right here. And that is 10% off the course material and the certification, which comes with two exam attempts. And we'll cover the rest of you know what that entails here in a second. But that's 10% off uh, the certification course materials for the rest of December 2023. So go ahead, use that to your advantage. Uh, it's a great opportunity. And thank you again to Cyber Defenders. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So like I was saying before, uh, Cyber Defenders as a company has been around for, for about uh, three or so years, almost four, I think. Um, they're not new whatsoever. So this is not like a cash grab certification like you see some other companies do. Um, these are is highly respected. I mean, you can see Google, IBM, Cisco, Meta, Mandiant, the U.S. Air Force uses Cyber Defenders, which I did not know. And that just kind of speaks to the quality of their content and the trustworthiness of the people behind the actual um, certification and training. So uh, you can see their their kind of motto, kind of uh, off sec, I think is um, is um, try harder. And so Cyber Defenders have con or coined defend smarter, not harder as their motto and we'll see exactly what that means uh here in a second so um a lot of people love this platform i have nothing to say but you know positive stuff about them and uh yeah i don't want to keep just like singing their praises but uh, i think they're they're doing a really good job in the space and I'm, I'm so glad they reached out to me but um so let's let's go into the actual course itself all right, so the CCD is a vendor neutral, hands-on cybersecurity training and certification. It's designed to prepare the next generation of SOC analysts, security blue teams, threat hunters, and defer professionals. And we always need defenders. We always need the blue team because, I mean, I don't have to, you know, harp on about what's going on in the cybersecurity space and just enterprises getting popped left and right. But um, we need more, more people training us and the defenders in the world. Um, all right, without, I know I'm just talking a lot, but the certification summary. So this training introduces you to real world threats, defender experiences or defenders experience in their networks and the tools used to defend against them. You will learn defense strategies, threat hunting techniques, uh, adversary detection, and how to investigate security intrusions and perform forensic analysis. Um, so the, the price is a, a bit steep, but I feel like this is not really an entry level and I get into why I think that here in a second, but, um, I feel like this price kind of in between the blue team level one and the blue team level two. So that's, it's kind of, kind of makes sense. I think where, where it lands at, uh, price wise, I'm not saying they're two separate, completely different co uh, companies, but they kind of offer the same type of, um, training platforms and, um, certification like the hands-on practical blue team breach scenario type of thing so that's why i kind of lump them together but they are two distinct companies what's included you get 25 plus hands-on blue team browser labs two exam attempts like i said earlier uh you can pay for extra attempts i think they're like 100 bucks but we'll double check that in a second you get 350 lessons study on demand which is awesome you get four months access so um instead of like having to meet at a certain time or uh, have a trainer that teaches you from whatever to whatever you can just on demand. If you wake up early in the morning, you have a family, you know, you have to kind of work around your work and family schedule. That's an awesome thing to have. Um, you get four month access. Four months should be plenty of time. I think uh, I would think and you get instant support and mentorship. So I don't know exactly what the mentorship uh, entails, but um, that, that sounds, that sounds interesting. And you can see some testimonials from the defenders, uh, you can see some some well-known names on here, like uh, Day Cyberwax. I'm sure you guys are familiar with him. Uh, Sans Difference Makers, they've been selected as a finalist for a Team of the Year category. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but that sounds really cool, coming from Sans. Uh, you see Black Hat talking about them. Um, and some other well-known, I believe I saw InfoSec Brett on here. 
Uh, it's another YouTuber. If you don't know who that is, go check him out. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of positivity around the certification and just the platform in general. So that's that's good to know that you're, you know, you're. I think it's safe to say that we're in good hands. So who's this training for? Sock analysts, blue teams, kind of obvious threat hunters, defer prof professionals. And so this is why I'm saying that this is not really entry level certification. It says solid understanding of Windows and Linux operating systems. If you you can be entry level cybersecurity, but you can have uh, you know years of experience in system administration or network engineering or something, or um, you know whatever it is, and then have these skills. But if you don't have that you know just fundamental solid knowledge, it's going to be a bit harder to um, really absorb the knowledge and apply it practically if that makes sense i liked for me i like to learn incrementally so that's why i took like the security plus and sizes and stuff first and then kind of move my my way up um, i feel like this will be a bit daunting for someone just completely new to the field but i mean i will go for it if you have your heart set on this certification and you know you feel like you can do it this i'm sure this will be an awesome you know introduction to cybersecurity, uh the blue team the sock life but if you don't really know what that stuff is before you try to tackle this exam, you might figure out that this is not something that you want to do. So um, that's just my two cents. So two exam vouchers are included um, manually graded by instructors, focus on assessing the technical part, no report required. So that's cool. It's 48 hours, 100% practical. And so they pretty much drop you into a breach scenario, kind of like the security blue team does. Um, use a sim to hunt threats, investigate real world intrusions, create an incident timeline, and then you perform a forensic analysis on different attack artifacts. So that's pretty cool. And you kind of see the certification syllabus. Uh, you learn about some SecOps fundamentals, which I was saying, um, learning you know, incrementally. So it's nice to see that they've included that for those who are less, um, less seasoned, I guess. Um, then you see perimeter defense, some stuff about email security, threat hunting, forensics, evidence collection, disk forensics, memory, network, instant response, malware analysis. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then you have all these practical labs that will help you to learn those skills in a practical sense versus just, you know, spitting a bunch of slideshows or telling you to read something or, you know, making flashcards. That's why I really like this type of uh kind of shift i guess in the certification game industry because instead of having just these um multiple choice question exams and you know stuff that's is boring honestly i don't know about anybody else but that stuff's boring instead of having that you can actually get hands-on with the tools and technologies that these uh professional security professionals use day in and day out and that in itself is fantastic especially if you don't have any experience right how do you get experience if you can't get a job, if you're entry level, if you don't have any IT technology, whatever background, and you can't get a job? Well, this is this is probably a good starting point is getting hands on with the tools and stuff. Of course, you can do all this by yourself. You can probably learn all each one of these separate entities on their own, but they've brought this stuff together. They have industry professionals that have vetted this information that have uh, you know pulled this stuff together for you guys, for us, so that learning and um, get, gaining those skills are more digestible than going out and doing everything just by themselves. So I, I really appreciate this type of approach to certifications. And then we see some blue team practice tools. Uh, I'm not gonna read all of this stuff out, but again, just goes to speak on the, the level, the breadth of things that you're gonna learn in this, in this uh, course. And of course, how will this training help your organization? Because at the end of the day, that's all that really matters, right? We're here to protect, we're here to defend, detect, poke, prod, whatever your job is as a cybersecurity professional, you know, this is what we're here for. Um, obviously we're talking more about the blue team stuff, but it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we're here to service the organization, the company, uh, the enterprise, wherever, whatever it is. So it's applicable, realistic, and it can help and can be applied to most organizations, lean, achieves better results with minimal effort, which is, I love that, impactful, has a more noticeable impact on security and significantly enhances overall security posture. So acquiring skills that most defenders can apply to get security off the ground and maintain a reasonable level of cyber hygiene. And honestly, 
that is that by itself is leaps ahead of where most uh, companies are. Or so for them to really be tailored towards trying to defend organizations and to have people that are skilled enough to do those things. Uh, I tip my, I got to, you know, tip my hat off to them. So get certified. Again, this is a 48 hour exam. Uh, it's another reason why I say this might not be like super entry level. Cause that's, that's daunting in itself. Just the time you don't have to spend the 48 hours, but just to know that there's that much time to, to, uh, to dive into the certification, you know, I'm sure that there's a lot to do. Um, and you can see some FAQ stuff. Um, how much time should I dedicate to studying CCD? So two to, two to three hours daily for CCD with this focused study time, you can complete the course in under two months. Oh, wow. And you get four months of uh, access. So you could really do like an hour a day for four months. Um, that might not be the best for like retention, but it's doable. Uh, they give you a physical coin. If you get, I think, 70% or 85% or higher, you get the gold coin. All certified individuals get the, the silver coin. Duration, again, is 48 hours. The passing score is 70%. I think they have a course preview, and let's go look at that right now. Uh, there's, there's CPEs. If you care about that kind of stuff, you get 40 CPEs. And we already talked about the course materials and exam att attempts. Oh, the prerequisite certification. So there's no prereqs for certification. Um, they say the only requirement is having the right mindset, a dedicated commitment to enhance your problem solving and analytical skills. And I, I, I do believe that um, if you put your mind to it, you can do it. So before I log in and go over the course preview, uh, let's look over the detailed syllabus just a little bit. Um, it's a lot in here, but I just would like to go over it briefly. Um, I mean, you can just see the amount of content that they have included in this course uh, certification course. I mean, there's stuff about honeypots and decoys, um, avoiding burnout, which is super important. If you've ever worked in a SOC or intend to work in a SOC, do not skip this. I, continuous incident response, preparing for, for IR, detection analysis, detection engineering. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You know, I'm all about that. Um, application level detection, post incident review. Then we get to learn about email security. Uh, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, where's the headers? There was something about analyzing headers, but um, you get to play with a, a sandbox, which is cool, cool. Go fish deployment that does kind of the header investigatories work, I believe. Uh, canary token deployments. I mean, it just goes on and on. And then you get into the forensics, so you get to do some disk forensics, uh, memory forensics, network forensics. Threat hunting and emulation, which is even cooler. And I think you even get to play with Sentinel. Uh, it's a sim. If you're not familiar, Microsoft has a sim platform called Sentinel. And it is amazing. Uh, and that's my opinion. But yeah, it's it's a lot in here. So, I mean, you get your money's worth, I, I believe, at least. All right, so this kind of gives you an idea of um, what the training or course material looks like. So you get an overview of the completed labs, the solved questions, the times you have to certify, uh, the time you have to certify, the time left before your access expires, uh, all your completed lessons, use lab times, and let's see if there's actual actually um, oh you can actually open labs and stuff in here, can you possibly? Um, oh, you have to enroll for your full access. That makes sense. But you kind of get an idea of you know what it looks like and what not, and there's not too much in here, obviously, because this is just a preview, but uh, it's kind of nice to see. It looks really clean. Uh, that doesn't really matter, but I mean, it does to me, but also I forgot to mention they have a Discord. So if you have any other additional questions about the CCD, whatever it may be, if you're stuck on a room or something in the training material, if you if you, something breaks, you can reach out to them and they're pretty responsive, I believe. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So just closing remarks. I'm, I'm really excited about the certification and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It's going to have to wait a bit because I have some other stuff I would like to get familiar with first and get trained up on. 
But um, for sure, I definitely want to tackle this probably later next year in 2024. But we'll see. But I'm super excited. Like I said, Cyber Defenders has grown so much as a company in the past three to four years. And um, just, just really cool to see. You know, they've, they've been sticking in there. And nice to see that they've kind of rejuvenated themselves with the update of the platform and the certification. So kudos to them and wish them all the success. So yeah, closing remarks. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this certification and I can't really, you know, critique it completely until I actually take it, but I'm excited about it. It seems very comprehensive. They have a very good set of different tools and technologies and skills that you can learn. I mean, the only thing that it's kind of off-putting is the price, just a little bit. Um, but again, you do get 10% off through the discount code that I provided earlier. And again, that's right here. Um, shame, shameless plug, right? No, but seriously though, um, I'm looking forward to taking this exam probably ne late next year uh, in 2024 after I get some other stuff out of the way. But um, yeah, I, I don't have anything bad to say about what I've seen so far. It, it, it sounds it sounds amazing. But anyways, like I said, I'm excited and hopefully you guys are too. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, if you want to just reach out about anything uh, cybersecurity related or otherwise, hit me up on LinkedIn. If you have not already, please subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And I would like to know what kind of videos you would like to see. You know, leave a comment down below or hit me up on LinkedIn. Like I said earlier, I want to know what you guys want to see, how I can provide value and bring value into your life this is not about me so please 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 leave some feedback um good or otherwise we appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video stay blessed